Virgo, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Virgo, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Virgo, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you're interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in. First card, King of Pentacles, beautiful. Angels are telling you right now, there is a beautiful energy here, a very powerful synchronicity that's gonna help you master your finances. This person's gonna come in the, in, the, in the form of some sort of help, mentoring, guiding you. There's some sort of angel heading your way. That's not gonna seem like an angel, right? At first, it's gonna seem like, you know, someone unexpected, someone that is a stranger even. You might meet them at a coffee shop, but they are going to be helping you. Now that you got the Knight of Pentacles and guiding you, and it's just, it's being aware of the opportunities that are brought to you that matter, right? Not dismissing them as just a coincidence, but look at this, you got the Two of Cups too. But more like this person was sent here through divine timing, divine intervention, and through a, a divine source to guide you and help you and take advantage of this. And how you can tell is because it will feel like a synchronicity. It will feel like a coincidence, but there are no coincidences, right? You'll be like, for example, I always wanted to invest in stocks, right? Say that to yourself, like say if you were saying that to yourself. I always want to invest in stocks, but I, ne I, I never knew how to do it. One day I'll invest in stocks. The next thing you know, you're at a coffee shop. You have a conversation with someone and they're like, yeah, I'm actually a stockbroker. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, just, you know, moved into the area. We actually moved in, uh, started a new business. And uh, yeah, and then boom, there's your sign right there. Stockbroker, invest in stocks. We just thought of that yesterday. Now today you meet someone and that's how it works. So expect someone to enter your life. Now look at this. You got the five of swords, six of wands, two of cups, the magician loving this. Now here's the resistance, right? You got the two swords and the moon. That energy has to get cleared and then everything else will work out. 10 of pentacles, seven of cups, ace of cups, wheel of fortune, that's a travel card. Now you got the four of pentacles, the emperor and the two of swords. So right now it's like, you're pretty much there. You're 98% there. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit of that law of attraction on top of this and make sure this happens sooner rather than later. Now, Virgo, your affirmation for today is being wealthy is my birthright. Yes, it is. It sure is your birthright. Write that down in the comment section. Being wealthy is my birthright. Quantum entangle with this energy. Command, assume, expect with love. Let your angels and guides know you are ready and you're fully aware. Let the universe know you are 100% inviting the energy of wealth that is your birthright. My sister, my brother, you are meant to be rich. You're meant to experience money and experience joy. Who better to be rich than you? Because you're going to be tipping everyone, helping everyone. Being wealthy is my birthright. Write that down in the comment section and give this video a like as well, please. Thank you. Now, Look at this. It's like you got the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. It's like, come on now. The opportunities of wealth, being wealthy is my birthright, or the odds of that, that's a synchronicity, are right here. It's like it's right here for you. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. I'm so excited. Keyword excited for you. So, opportunities are going to present themselves. These opportunities are things that you've manifested for quite some time. These are multiple opportunities that will present themselves. Your angels and guides are telling you why I said we got to clear the energy. Do not wait for the perfect timing when these opportunities are presented. This is so important. I cannot stress this enough. So two things. First and foremost, do not dismiss it as a coincidence. Now, this opportunity come in many, many different ways. For example, you might tell yourself the whole stockbroker thing, or you might tell yourself, I want to invest in real estate. Next thing you know, you know, all of a sudden your coworker comes up to you and says, yeah, you know, we bought a place in this, you know, location and it's a great investment opportunity. And, you know, I can put you in touch with my realtor if you would like. You gotta understand that that right there is a sign. So don't dismiss it. Tell yourself, okay, cool. You know what? Okay, let me get in touch with them. Show me some numbers. Take the numbers home, go do some due diligence. Oh, numbers look good. Market research looks good. And then at that point, this is the part, you have to take action. If you don't take action, that opportunity, you know, it, 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 execution trumps knowledge, right? So right now, like imagine like you know you, there's a product you can create to make money, but unless you put the product, you know, the idea in the production, we can't really get to where we want to go. And right now your angels and guides are telling you in order for you to take the leap of faith, all you have to do is be passionate about it, be excited, right? Learn to love the story, the future. One trick that I love doing all the time, 
time. If there's any sort of resistance that I deal with, that I feel like I have to let go of this energy, if there's any sort of fear that's preventing me from taking the leap of faith, I use Neville Goddard's technique of visualizing and one technique that he always uses is he says, thank you, thank you, thank you while he's doing it. So visualize as if you got to understand when you're living in the third dimension, right? The third dimension is great and all, but you know who the boss of the third dimension is? And I'm trying to use lingo and terms that, you know, are easy to relate to, but you know who the third dimension listens to? The fourth dimension. So if you want, you know, the third dimension to like bring wealth into your life, go to the boss, go talk to the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension, once you set things in motion in the fourth dimension, the third dimension will make sure it happens. So how do you set it up in the fourth dimension? You have to get yourself in a calm meditative state, right? That's what we're talking about here. Meditation is not something you have to sit there for hours and go hum, none of that. You're just trying to get the baseline, right? If you want to do the hum thing, fantastic. Like if you have hours to sit there and meditate, great. This better than watching TV. But if you just want to get in, get out, basically meditate for 10, 15 minutes, sit up, palms up, bring your awareness to your third eye, don't think. All you're trying to do is get your energy from a low frequency to a neutral frequency, which means nothing, right? Just sit here in this energy. That's the art of allowing right here. Now, while you are here, you are going to visualize that you are, for example, imagine something that you would like. Imagine like a coworker coming up to you and say, listen, I got this investment opportunity, right? I want you to visualize this person coming up to you, giving you this investment opportunity, telling you that it's gonna work. Then I want you to visualize yourself looking at the numbers and realizing, oh my goodness, we have something. Oh my goodness, we have something. Now, if it's not the investment opportunity of real estate, pick something you love. Maybe it's winning the lottery. Maybe it's getting an inheritance, whatever it is. Visualize right now how it would feel as if you got it and then while you're doing this I want you to say thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you repeat it over and over again because you're just building energy and as you're building the feeling as if the event has taken place that right that feeling is it the visualization is nothing the visualization is the founding the foundation right it's almost like imagine serving a crust of a cake to someone you really want to serve them all the toppings on top too or the pie or whatever so right now by saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're building all the toppings up, now we got a pie. And right now, you gotta understand, in the fourth dimension, when you're doing this, don't visualize as if you are looking at a television screen or a big screen. You need to visualize as if you're the first person. So visualize right now, you are, for example, if I was doing the real estate thing, visualize, you know, your coworker coming up, you guys shaking hands, solid firm hand connection or whatever, or high-fiving or saying hi and touching each other or whatever. Visualize being there in the first person. You're seeing everything in the first person. That's the fourth dimension. That is exactly how you're going to invite this opportunity into your life. And I see here that even possibly travel on the horizon. So this travel could be you meeting this person on your travel, this person, this travel could be you going on travel, going on a travel after you meet this person, this opportunity is brought to you or going on a travel, clearing the energy, right? And then at that point, spirit bringing this person into your life, but expect some sort of travel on the horizon for you as well. Now your spirit animal, Talk about synchronicities. Look at this message. What's the message? Dove spirit? Be peace. Be peace. That neutral baseline energy. That's exactly what spirit wants from me right now. By being in that energy, your angels and guides are, you're basically allowing them to help you. So imagine your angels and guides are like, listen, Virgo, it's your birthright to be wealthy. We want to bring wealth in your life. And you're like, I allow it. And that's what that baseline energy is. All right. Now, oh, Look at this. Final message from your spirit guides. Yes, please. Let love be your beacon. Uh -uh. Why? Because love's the key to unlock all the doors in this third dimension. All right, now the message is lead with love. When you enter into a new situation, see love paving the way. It is If it is a tense situation or work environment, do a visualization exercise of filling the space with bright, beautiful love for everyone involved, including yourself. Love is the key that unlocks all the doors in this third dimension. That's why I'm like, when you're visualizing, say thank you, thank you, thank you. I kid you not, when I say love's the key, I know it sounds really cute, it's the God's honest truth. Imagine, everything you're looking for is in a box. When you use love, love is not romance, love is happiness, joy, and abundance. When you lose love, you unlock the door, now the opportunities come out. So you can never do it with fear. You can never be like, I really wanna be able to get a, you know, start investing in stuff because I'm worried about losing money. That right there is not going to work. But if you're like, oh man, I can't wait to get these investments going because I'm gonna go buy a new house and I'm gonna go, go on that travel and I'm gonna go donate whatever you like. Oh yeah, using love, 
unlocks the door. So always pick love and empower yourself. All right, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, this side, like this video and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if the like button's right here. I think it is. Like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.